Alright, what's going on everyone? It's SN2000 here for episode 31 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. In the last episode, we went here to Snow Peak, and now we're here at the 5th dungeon, so if you want to see how to get to the 5th dungeon, watch the previous episode, because we're going to take it on in this video, at least I don't get the dungeon item. So welcome to the 5th dungeon of the game, which is called... Wait for it... Snow Peak Ruins. This dungeon is three floors. And we got a Poe in here. So just like in previous dungeons, there are two pieces of heart in this dungeon as well. Also, there's chews in this room if you want to get some chew jelly from them. Who? Uh, sorry, I have sickness. Come closer. Huh? So this is the safe room of this dungeon. There are no enemies in here. Cute little human. Husband told me you come. You want to look at mirror, huh? My husband found it, but it's pretty thin. Uh, but since I get mirror, I get sick, and the bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since mirror. So we lock bedroom on the third floor where it hangs, huh? Wait, I tell you where key is. So this is the map of the mansion, which is the dungeon map. Fever makes head blurry, but it probably here in room marked by the symbol. But right now, can't even get up. Would you bring it to me? Uh, start with door right there. Oh, you! Wife look bad, huh? Not healthy since Mir. So I make soup for her. Fish from Zora Village are most nutritious. You tired, huh? You have some. I give you energy. So I'm gonna dish some up. Yeah. So you can get this to get some simple soup, which restores two hearts. As you progress in the dungeon, the soup gets better. So as I get further in the dungeon, I'm gonna be drinking the current soup I have and getting the better version. Alright, so let's get started. So here we've got a block puzzle. Which is a classic Legend of Zelda puzzle. <laughs> So now we can enter the next room. But that's not the last we'll see of that block puzzle, by the way. Alright, this room, if it isn't quite obvious, you want to transform into a wolf. And now we're here in the courtyard area. This is this is the main room of the dungeon, so that's the boss door up there. So like I said, this is the main room of the dungeon, which means we're going to be returning to this room a lot. 
And there's white wolfos here too. I got a key. is called a freezard. As you see, it freezes you. And keep in mind, I'm playing on hero mode, which means no recovery hearts drop. Just one more freezard. Alright, frozen again. So that's the chest with the room that has the key. Guess we're gonna be done with this dungeon quick. Let's go get the key. Oh, we're not getting that easy. Yep, we've got another new enemy in this room. This is a Chilfos. So yeah, that's one way to get it. Either wait for it to throw its spear, then attack it with your sword, or just jump attack its spear, then just spam the B button to take it out. But so let's get the key. Wait, this isn't the key. It's an Ordon pumpkin. What's this? This isn't right. She got the wrong location. Want to go back and try to get it to remember where the key is? Yeah, we can climb up here, but there's nothing we can do up here yet. So all we can do is just drop down. We actually want to head back this way anyway. So before I give him the pumpkin, I'm going to dish up some simple soup, then drink it. Flavor. Oh. Pumpkin! You have pumpkin, huh? Ouch. Pumpkin, pumpkin, oh. Thanks, oh. Uh. You taste if you want. So now we have the good soup, which restores four hearts. So I will use that if my health gets low, and if I really need to, I'll use my rare chew jelly. Because I do have some rare chew jelly. You find it? Uh, what? Pumpkin? But why there? No good. Uh, where I leave it? Uh, maybe in that room. Go to room marked by symbol. Check room I marked on map. Uh. So now we're heading toward the mini boss. So this room leads directly to the courtyard.
more Freezards in this room. Okay, that didn't work. When all else fails, spam the B button. When spamming the B button fails, I don't know. Yep, that worked perfectly. Sheesh, how is that failing? Okay, so we're gonna bring a cannonball over here. I actually defeat all the freeze arts first, I guess. So I can go through here without getting frozen constantly, which I kind of did because every time I tried to jump strike, I just ended up freezing myself. Cannon manual. Insert iron. Continue. Put in. Explosion. Launch. Notice the part where it says explosion. That means you're going to have to use a bomb to activate this. So now the cannon's loaded. Now you want to turn it this way. <clears throat> and then put a bomb in there. And boom! Path cleared. Okay, I do have my claw shot equipped, alright. Yeah, I'm just taking out the freeze arts right now, so I don't have to worry about them later. Because if you fall here, you will fall into the abyss. Which I do not want. So I believe here you want to jump it. Here too. And we got the stamp that does absolutely nothing from this chest. And this chest contains the compass. Walks right to the cannonball. chest in here. And it contains a key, what do you know? Alright. 
Let's make our way to the mini boss. How are we going to get to the mini-boss? It's going to involve a little bit of explosions. more bombs from that. I'm sorry, but if you're going to get in my way, I'm going to have to do that. So that door leads to the mini boss. Let's go fight a mini boss time. Almost forgot to say it. Okay, make sure you have your claw shot equipped. So I believe this mini boss's name is Dark Hammer or something like that. I should also make sure I have a healing item equipped as well. Bro, you know you want to. Shot or not. Oh, I died. 
dodge that. No, you want to. Finally, I got you. That was a rough fight. Now, I am lucky I had healing items. If I didn't, I would have died. So make sure you pick this up because this is the dungeon item, the ball and chain. So now that we have the dungeon item, this is going to end this episode, so thanks for watching, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you really like my content, you can subscribe, hit the bell to stay updated for new videos, check out my channel discussion if you want to see what's going on, and I'll see you guys next time.